yeah, yeah. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. I have some more scary videos that I'm gonna react to. These videos are from scary videos. All right, here we go. Let's get to it. Oh, Our first scary video comes from the popular YouTube channel gotcha. TV Twix. Danny, along with his friend Dominic, embarks on an exploration of an abandoned laboratory in the Czech Republic. This is not good. This edifice bears a dark history of controversy and tragedy, with past employees subjected to harrowing experiments involving hazardous chemicals, some of which proved fatal. Years later, local accounts persist, asserting that the lingering spirit of one of these unfortunate employees still harbors resentment within the forsaken laboratory. The time is approximately 4 a.m. as Danny and Dominic discover a room containing a solitary bed frame. Pres no. 4 a.m. Y'all crazy. Y'all go into an abandoned building looking like that. 4 a.m. Y'all set up for something spooky. Probably once belonging to a lab employee. Deploying their RIMPOD device, they swiftly discern that something is amiss setting the stage for an eerie turn of events. What is that? A, a, a ghost detector? Yo, does that frame just move? Sorry, I don't understand what they're saying. So, let's just follow along. We know what's going to happen, though. There we go. Movement. Movement. Okay, okay, děkujeme za znamení. My tedy tuto místnost opustíme. Necháme tě tady v klidu, nebudeme se ptát na další dotazy. Nevíme, kámo, co se tam dotyčnímu stalo, proč je tady. A jdeme odsaď ho prdele. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Gotta go. This is what I'm talking about. I don't like being in no abandoned place. In the, especially in the middle of the morning, the night, whatever the case is, by yourself, because stuff like that always gonna happen. No. The bed frame exhibiting unsettling vibrations triggers the rim pod device. Subsequent is, you can see right through the bed frame, so it's not like someone's really underneath there. You know, like, or how you think it's gonna move by itself, a spirit? But could we do that? Someone. The bed undergoes an abrupt movement towards Danny. While the investigators nah. manage to maintain their composure, the bed forcefully slides across the room, nah. prompting them to hastily exit. After regaining their resolve, that's legit, y'all. Yeah. To venture into the laboratory the epicenter of numerous gruesome experiments conducted on the building's unfortunate employees. In an attempt to elicit a response from the paranormal presence, Danny initiates a series of questions. For a span of around 20 minutes, the environment remains relatively subdued. However, the atmosphere takes a chilling turn. Já bych se chtěl projevit na nějakým z těch přístrojů. Jsme tady jenom kvůli vám, abyste nám ukázali, co jste, a pak se samozřejmě zeptáme na nějaké otázky, no, proč tu jste. Ale jako upřímně nevím, příjemně, že už tady jsme asi 15-20 minut. Přístroje, bez nic. Trošku jsme to tady přeorganizovali, že to je byla lepší energie, ale. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, sir. Okay, 
behind you. You better watch your neck, guys. Watch your neck. Watch your neck. Get out! Get out now! Uh -uh. Yeah, crazy. Yo, if that chair get off the floor and just slam into someone, I, I'm like, I told you so. Y'all playing too much. Okay. <laughs> I understand what he's saying, but I swear he's cursing with the F word. In the midst of their investigation, a metal chain autonomously swings back and forth, and a chair replicates the eerie vibrations reminiscent of the earlier bed frame discovery. However, the most harrowing revelation unfolds when a strange, translucent figure of a woman in a dress appears to traverse the hallway. Unbeknownst to the TV Twix team, at the time, I see their that. camera captures this spine-chilling apparition. Hold up, because I got my shades. By no. The inexplicable movements of the chair, the team presses on with their investigation. I, I need my shades off, just location. in case. I didn't see that. The incubator room. Local legend attributes this space to the gruesome tale of a man who was bound and subjected to torture, meeting his demise in the rear of the room. As Danny recounts this haunting narrative, the already tense atmosphere takes a turn. How many y'all uh, watching this would do, do these um spirit ghost hunting type things what these guys are doing? Would you do this? And how much would you do it for? And I wonder if they doing this for free, hobby, bored, or they doing it for some money. Let me know what you think. Bizarre. I wish I knew what they were saying. Y'all, y'all acting too chill. The door's opening. Y'all just chilling? Nah. See, this looks staged right here on the real. There's no way. I'll be gone. Just open up the door. Open it wide open so it don't open no more. Nah, nah. Y'all two are crazy. The TV Twix team reaches their threshold, deciding to conclude their investigation and uh, depart uh, from about the time. site. I would have been out of there before I even went in. Dominic, 
having experienced unexplained phenomena, opt to leave. The question lingers. Did they capture genuine evidence of paranormal activity? Potentially the spirit of a tormented employee who endured horrific experiments? Alternatively, could it all be an elaborate hoax? The decision ultimately rests with you. This scary video comes from the Signs and Signals YouTube channel. Dave has undertaken numerous investigations at a profoundly haunted church. As one might anticipate, he has chosen to revisit the site, this time opting for a solid Good luck to that. Dell, on his own, has ventured into the church to conduct an independent investigation. If I was your friends, don't ask me to go into no haunted houses. Nothing with no history of anybody getting killed and all that craziness. No, I'm fine. All right. I'm in here, stinking up the place with my gas demons. <laughs> um, the real demons are in here. Say what's up to the camera. What's up? <laughs> well, here we go. Is anybody in here that like communicate? Yes. <laughs> I'm in here all alone. No, you're not. <laughs> Dude. I know y'all heard that. Upon inquiring about potential communication, Dell promptly discovered that the entities present extended beyond the demons afflicting his guest. It's a cool, got a cool mustache beard. That's, that's pretty cool how it goes down there. Anyway, get your ass out of there. A subtle, spectral voice appeared to respond affirmatively, uttering a faint yes. Having hear this response hear the first hand, Dell was immediately unsettled. Proceeding with Cartion, he meticulously traversed the church, ensuring the absence of any other individuals. However, upon settling into one of the pews, the atmosphere took a disquieting turn. God, I'm scared. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. You scared? You just sit in there. Good luck. Let's see how much scared you're gonna be after this probably happens. God, please be with me. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Boy. Dude. You crazy. I really feel like I'm about to get sick. Like, just At least you're in the church. You can pray to God. Oh, man, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I don't know how entertaining this is, um, but you try coming in here by yourself. It's, it's, it's oh, crap. nah. <laughs> You're doing good on your own. I am not going over there. I told you from the start, I will not enter any abandoned building. No, no, no. Come on out and show yourself. Wait, what? Uh huh. Yo, you made me jump yeah, for no that's reason. Cool. Um, thank you. Or if you're somebody in here that wants me to leave, just tell me. I want you David. to leave. This is Daniel, by the way. Following his invitation. <laughs> Come on out and show yourself. Oh. A resounding bang emanated from within the room. Oh, I thought I saw Undeterred, something moving on the right. Dell commenced to search for the origin of this noise, simultaneously adopting an antagonistic stance towards whatever entities might be concealed within the confines of the church. He's gonna play with me and just uh, keep on knocking. Pause. Making me come back here and then you do nothing. 
So you're obviously just effing with me. And, uh, you know, I can F with you back. I can just completely ignore you. Hey, 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 hey. You're not even there. I don't even care. You ain't nothing. You ain't never been anything. That's the reason why you're stuck here. Because you suck. Yeah. What just happened? That was right <laughs> on the ground. I could feel that rumbling on my feet. <laughs> Yo. What's that supposed to mean, huh? You want me to come back in there? Well, no, I'm not coming back in there. Hell no. No, you stay in there. I like that sh hey, hey, hey. Like that. You cursing in the church. What the hell? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's like chasing me, dude. What the hell? What are you doing? Oh, that's banging. Shut Yo, I don't know about this one, man. Someone out there banging on the walls, man. Somebody got to be outside banging. There's no way. Shit. I hell no with this. I'm getting out of here. Hold up, hold up. The door is banging like that, and you're trying to go through that door? Mm, yeah, let's see what happens. The other door now? Suddenly, thunderous bangs reverberated from every corner of the room, prompting Delta. What y'all think about this one? For the exit. However, upon realizing that the door was jammed, he came to an abrupt stop, standing still in an attempt to regain his composure and catch his breath. Turning that knob kind of weak. Stop. Dude. I need to leave. Dude. So leave. Bust through that door. David! David! Go for the window! Wait, what the? Call it. Hey! What just happened? What the fuck happened? What the fuck? I'm this. David! Hey! There's like a whole bunch of chairs in the way, dude. In the way. Wait up. Hold up, David. So his boy is there? So why why his boy is not with him? Because if he if your boy was there and all this stuff going on and we don't see him, I'ma think it's David doing all the noises and banging and stuff. So how I'm believe this now? Fixated on the door before him, <laughs> dude witnessed an dude got a mouth on him in the church. As someone or some God bless his soul, relentlessly slammed against it. Faced with limited options, he resolved to backtrack through the church in search of an alternative exit. However, upon entering the main room, he was confronted with a scene of disorder: tables and chairs strewn across the floor. Table Despite the harrowing experience, Dell managed to navigate. What y'all think about this one? Emerging from the Leave your comments below. What y'all think about this one? This scary video is it real? Is from the renowned what is it fake? Franco TV. This time, Frank embarks on a visit to one of most haunted What's up, Frank? locations, the Malvern Manor. Originally Another constructed house. as a hotel, the manor underwent Another various house. transformations, oh. serving as a nursing home, no. halfway house. And a care facility for individuals with mental illnesses. That looked like that looked like Kane and stuff from WWE. The Malvern Manor has gained notoriety for its extensive history of paranormal occurrences. Numerous individuals have attested to experiencing paranormal phenomena within the manor, including disembodied voices, coughs, 
footsteps, banging sounds, and eyewitness accounts of shadow figures and full-bodied apparitions. Wow. Undeterred, Frank commences his exploration of the haunted Malvern Manor, initially believing himself to be alone, until the unfolding events prove otherwise. Listen, I'm going to use the case you know because this thing goes on for years. Never easier. alone. And I want to see if it will do the same thing. Now, is that a creeper? That's a creeper. A creeper. I think I remember that in this like room a there was a doll that used to be laying on the bed. Maybe a patient was here and... What was it? That f***ing toy. Oh, hell no. You know there's a kid spirit in here then playing with toys, playing pranks. There's nothing in this room either. Look at this. Look behind the door. Look under the bed. And that toy keeps going off. So I'm going to take the toy with me. And I want to see if this thing goes off. Can you move the ball or pick it up? He's trying to play fetch with a... You think there's a dog spirit in there? All I want to do... Holy shit. What's that? Are you messing with me? Is that you? Nah. Too many rooms, no, man. Thanks. No thanks. You don't want to play with me. That's fine. Dead. You're, you're dead? <laughs> it sounded like you said, no thanks, I'm dead. What? While Frank explores the Malvern Manor, a child's toy unexpectedly activates on its own. Intrigued, he decides to carry the toy with him as he transitions to another section of the building. A few minutes later, Frank tosses a ball, hoping to engage any child spirits that might be present. However, as he moves to retrieve the ball, a startling sound from behind startles him. Swiveling around, he finds no one there, only the eerie resonance of creepy laughter echoing from the dark corridor ahead. Undeterred, Frank inquires if the ghost is playing games and if it wishes to participate. Of course it's playing games. <laughs> or it's doing is you cannot see it and you hear voices and a toy is going off. Someone's playing with you. A voice responds, saying, No thanks, followed by an unsettling mention of death. What unfolds next, however, takes a truly eerie turn. At this point now, I'm going to make my way to the second floor. I've been down here for a couple of hours now. And, uh... Let me get this straight. You've been in an abandoned house at night for a couple of hours by yourself? What the hell you was doing? You had a picnic? You was cooking up in there and stuff for three... Three hours is going to take you to go through every room? You oh no, nah. I'll be in and out in two minutes. Hours. I want to see what's gonna happen on the second floor, so I brought some toys with me. <laughs> this is the creepy floor. All those floors is floor. creepy. Nah, man. Y'all crazy. You pretty much hear a lot of the footsteps. Walking down. As you're just kind of like in a room or something, this is where a lot of that tends to happen. I just now put the toy there. That has went on a couple of times, and I think it went on in one of my last videos as well. I want to see if it does the same thing this one. Um, I'm going to close the door. That would be smart. And I do have this ball here that I'm going to use for instigating. Hello? Could you tell me your name? 
Who am I speaking with? I know you're here with me in the room. Just talk, talk to me and tell me your name. Anna. Who's Anna? Hello, Anna. Oh my goodness. The door just opened. Oh my goodness, I got the chills right there. No way. Hello? Anna want to make out with you. <laughs> oh hell no 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 yo i'm about to be done i'm about to be done with this y'all giving me the chills man hurry up with this video man this is freaky dinky right now That toy said meow or something. Oh, I hate it. It looked like it just closed. And the doll just went on at the inside. Yes. After spending a few hours exploring, Frank ascends to the second floor, where a significant amount of paranormal activity is reported to occur. Wait, hold up. So a few hours he was in that house, but he was on the, uh, on the first floor. For a few hours? On the first floor? And he just made it to the second floor? Is this a... This is a mansion, right? Even in a mansion, three hours on one floor is just too long on the floor, dude. Something's gonna happen when you're that long in a place. Carrying the toys with him, he hopes to provoke some form of response. Frank reveals that footsteps are commonly heard in the second floor corridor. And he notes that a woman tragically passed away in one of the upstairs rooms. Determining this room to be an ideal location for further investigation, Frank places a touch activated toy on a cupboard and closes the door. With a poised inquiry, who am I speaking with? A female voice responds through his device, identifying itself as Anna. Before Frank can delve further, the door he had closed mysteriously swings open. Though Frank acknowledges the anomaly, as he starts to rise, the toy suddenly activates, uttering the words, hello. Perceiving the unfolding events, Goodbye. Frank decides to relocate to another part of the house to continue his investigation, capturing the entire sequence on camera. Do you want me to leave? Yes, it does. Unless you play with it. Play. It wants to play or it wants you out. Yo, y'all hearing that? It sounds like someone's running down the stairs. Yo, that's, is this giving me the chills right now, man? Yo, hurry up and get out of here. Josh? D Josh? Wait, how, how many friends you got here, yo? Wasn't it David before? Josh? Yo, y'all bugging out, man. Oh, that was the last video, sorry. But still, who's Josh? <laughs> Josh? I hope that's your guard dog, Josh. Josh. What is that? Yo, this looks like a video game right now. Like one of those Resident Evil type movies and stuff. Z zombies come out. Oh. Yo, 
y'all so dramatic. <laughs> During Frank's exploration of the other Yo, side, that's of the house, crazy though. The distinct sounds of running footsteps reverberate through the area, causing him to feel a surge of terror. Anxious to identify the source, Frank hastens to investigate, only to find himself alone with no sign of anyone nearby. Returning downstairs, an unexpected turn of events unfolds on Frank's static night vision camera. So if he's alone, who the heck is Josh? Who's Josh? Positioned upstairs and aimed at the toy. Mysteriously, no the strings. toy activates on its own yeah. and rolls off the table, crashing onto the floor directly above Frank. Throughout this suspenseful investigation at the haunted Malvern Manor, Frank's audience is kept on the edge of their seats. Many share the sentiment that the running sounds likely originated from a spirit dwelling within the old building. Frank, attributing the occurrences to poltergeist activity, presents his perspective on the events. Now, the question arises. What y'all think about this? Do you believe Frank captured evidence of exactly. paranormal activity you think this in this is real haunted right here? house? Let me know your what thoughts in the comments down below. A couple woke yeah. up in the middle of the night by some strange sounds. And upon checking, they encountered this. Oh, oh shit. Thank <laughs> Yo. I right, you got me. You got me. I did it get you too? Did that get you too? See, I'm watching this for the first time. I didn't watch this video. That freaky dinky right there. Wow, good job. You you scared the shiz out. Oh, baby.